How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use NordVPN if you're new to VPNs. Generally, this will explain how uh, NordVPN works and just the basics of uh, VPNs in general, uh, the functions and what they serve and how you can actually put them to use. So before we begin, if you're interested in NordVPN, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to know the ins and outs of NordVPN in terms of privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So let's get straight into it. Of course, if you would like to not bother with anything, they have a quick connect button here, which you can just click and you're good to go there you can just click off the video and uh that'll be it but if you're trying to understand the functions really get the best uh get the most excuse me get the most out of your uh nordvpn application here stay with me so let's get into the settings now uh first of all general you want to keep cybersec on block ads and malicious websites there's uh, really nothing wrong with keeping this on at all times you have nothing to lose in terms of protocols always use nord links uh usually open vpn udp and tcp are considered to be um or previously considered to be more secure uh nord links which is a true wireguard protocol uh, as I've been told by NordVPN, you can actually use this at all times, even if you're a, in a highly censored or censorship heavy country. And speaking of censorship heavy countries, if you go to the kill switch here, this is definitely something you want to keep on. As it says here, if you disconnect from VPN or the VPN connection drops while the kill switch is turned on, your internet access will be disabled. To restore your internet access, you will need to connect to VPN or turn off the kill switch. So uh, this will prevent uh, your data from leaking in, in case your VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Now, if you don't want your, this is one exclusive feature, this is one of the uh, features that you don't really find in many VPNs, which is an app kill switch instead of an internet kill switch. So if you don't want your entire connection to get disconnected, you can select specific apps to uh, you can just terminate these apps rather than terminating your entire connection. So this is uh, one really useful feature with uh, uh, NordVPN. And of course, you've got split tunneling, which will allow you to choose which VPNs use VP use the VPN connection. Uh, excuse me, which applications use the VPN connection and which don't. So let's say um, you're you want to use your your VPN, but you only want to uh, have your torrenting client, for example, uh, use the VPN. So you can just uh, go to add apps here, select your torrenting client. Of course, you'll have to browse apps, uh, which will take you to, uh, let's say, the program files here on local disk. Select, let's say, Qubit Torrent. You'll, you'll select the executable uh, application here and you're good to go. That's it. So that way, when I turn the VPN while split tunneling is on, as it says here, enable VPN for selected applications only. So nothing will be affected by my VPN except for the torrenting client here. Uh, and of course, you can also do the same for, uh, you can just, uh, you know, vice versa, just disable VPN for selected apps, which you can, uh, yeah, it could be useful really for many situations. And advanced here, you've got custom DNS if that's something uh, you need. So, you know, you can select a, uh, most people use the Google, the popular Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. There are, uh, you know, different DNSs you could use. And depending if you need such a service, this, this is something you uh, can definitely make use of. It's just an easy way for people to change their DNS. So now let's get into the obfuscated servers here, which will only be able to you'll only be able to activate this using OpenVPN TCP. Now we'll go to advanced and I'll be able to activate the obfuscated servers. Now notice when I'm on Nord Links, by the way, I'll get to that in just a second. I only have two specialty servers. But when I activate, let's say OpenVPN, UDP, or TCP, I'll have access to two more specialty servers, which is dedicated IP and double VPN. Dedicated IP, before I get into the obfuscation, 
a dedicated IP is uh, pretty much a bunch of servers with the same IP. So when you go back to these servers, you'll always be using the same IP. So uh, you can even pay for your own exclusive dedicated IP, but these are free dedicated IPs you can use, which is very nice of NordVPN. Full of features, really, this VPN. And you've got double VPN, which will route your connection through two uh, servers rather than one, as you can tell here. So let's say we're looking for United Kingdom, United Kingdom, France, United Kingdom, Netherlands. It'll link you through two servers and two IP addresses for double the encryption without barely affecting your uh, speed, which is very cool. Onion over VPN will give you access to the uh, Tor browser without really using the Tor browser. So you'll be able to uh, access dark web uh, websites without really um, using the Onion browser, which is uh, which can be handy. I mean, I would definitely recommend using the Onion browser anyways. But uh, if you don't have the Onion browser, you can get access to dark web websites without that. Uh, and peer-to-peer -peer will support peer-to-peer uh, -peer activity, specifically if you're trying to, let's say, torrent and whatnot. So this can be useful if you're interested as well in, uh, yeah, torrenting or peer-to-peer -peer activities. And now I was just talking about, um, uh, where, where is it? There you go obfuscated servers. So it's off right now. And notice how I have so many for uh, servers at my disposal. So check it out here. Seven, two uh, regions, four regions, 36 countries, 15 regions here. Um, so yeah, it's quite a bit. Now I'm going to go to obfuscated servers and turn that on. And notice how it will single out everything it will just single out the obfuscated servers only so these servers will help you bypass censorship firewalls such as the great firewall of china so let's say if you're in a country with very restrictive laws and you're not able to access uh you know content or you're just not able to connect to uh, some of the websites that you can usually access using a vpn or if any of the servers are just not working or you're not able to connect to them you can use some of these servers, which are specifically obfuscated servers, uh, so that uh, they'll help you actually get by these censorship firewalls and you'll be able to access um, these geo-restricted con or, or any blocked content that's really blocked in your country. Let's say if you're in a uh, censorship or restrictive country. So that'll be it really. And by the way, if you're still having trouble, you can actually uh, speak to NordVPN themselves and they'll give you an application for those that are specifically so it'll be a NordVPN client that looks very it, it pretty much looks the same as this but it is specifically made for those living in censorship heavy countries so keep that in mind if the regular VPN client doesn't work you can definitely uh, go ahead and contact NordVPN and they'll give you a link to uh, their uh, other client, which works in censorship heavy countries, if you need that. I don't really need open VPN TCP, of course, just, you know, use obfuscated servers only if Nordlinks and open VPN UDP don't work. Uh, otherwise, you should be good to go most of the times. So that'll be it for this video. I mean, you know, once you have an understanding of all of these, I don't think I need to tell you how to connect to a server. All you need to do is click on one of them and you're really you're, you're good to go. Uh, of course, keep in mind that Nordlynx is much faster when it comes to connecting and just overall Nordlynx is faster than OpenVPN and OpenVPN, UDP and TCP. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in getting to know the ins and outs of this VPN, definitely check the review below as well as link to, links to special deals and discounts in the description. Uh, so yeah, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.